Now to a story on that you're going to see here first on four, and it was first on four, Mayor Bowser officially announcing the creation of a regional real-time crime center based at D.C. police headquarters. News 4's Mark Seagraves broke this story yesterday. He has new details on how police want to use private security cameras as part of their entire surveillance network. Surveillance video has become key to catching and prosecuting criminals. Mayor Bowser hopes the new real-time crime center will result in a lot more arrests. We have to have more technology uh, to, to balance off not having the number of people resources that we have had in past years. So no camera will replace a live police officer, but it does enhance the uh, force's ability to be in more places, uh, if you will. The plan is to use hundreds of already existing surveillance cameras, as well as other technology like shot spotters and license plate readers to monitor the city and track criminals in real time. And I'll use Prince George's County, for example. There are armed carjacking um, suspects that are going between both jurisdictions, and oftentimes we're either on the radio or we're on a, on a phone just trying to track those individuals, we can track that vehicle in real time, and it's a quicker response time um, than what we currently have right now. A long list of departments from Virginia and Maryland, as well as federal agencies, will be partnering to operate D.C.'s crime center. In addition to the hundreds of government cameras already in place, Bowser plans on asking private businesses and homeowners to link their security cameras to the crime center's network. I think the expectation is that we'll be working with our business community first um, and, and go from there. But they're literally, in any establishment that you go in, they're cameras. And the, what we're talking about is how to best coordinate uh, those cameras for, for public safety. The American Civil Liberties Union of D.C. raised concerns about police monitoring the public around the clock, calling it an alarming expansion of government surveillance with no oversight. The real-time surveillance center leaves serious questions about our safety and our rights unanswered. The goal is to have the new center up and running in February of next year. From police headquarters, Mark Seagraves, News 4.